This is Leticia's voice, and welcome, welcome, and welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday to you. And you know, for Sundays, what that means. Anybody else have self-care Sundays? You know I do. So I thought it would be cool to talk about fun things we could do on self-care Sunday I started off mine just right this morning and I'll tell you a little bit about that a little bit later so go ahead let's go ahead and get started today's lip beat is called 1987 by Baptiste Beauty black on It's matching. You know, I like to coordinate. And one thing I am loving about many of these lippies is that they smell good too. I love that this is era based. I'm talking about 1987. And do you remember what happened in 1987? What fun facts can you come up with of things that happened in 1987? Feel free to tell me what you were doing in 1987. Or were you here in 1987? Tell me some fun facts about 1987 in the comments. I really like this. But you know I like to lay it on thick sometimes. So I'm going to add another layer. This is part of my self-care. Pampering myself. And as you know, I love lippy colors, lipstick, lip gloss. And so, playing dress up and adding colors is part of my self-care. What other fun things do you like to do that are relaxing activities for you? So what other relaxing activities do you like to do in addition to my lip? I like doing my nails too. So hope you enjoy my color today. I brought some more accessories back. Because I know you guys like to hear the accessories. Let's 
accessories do you like to wear? Here's a fun fact about me. I do not wear watches. As you can see, I haven't worn a watch in over 10 years. I like them. I think there are some really cool watches out here, but the batteries always run out for me, so I stopped wearing them. My dad used to tell me that I had too much electricity in me. I'm okay with that. It just means that I'm electrifying. And I'm all about affirmations. So what other things can you do that would be a good self-care thing and that would be re really relaxing? Journaling. Sometimes I don't think we take enough time to just write down our thoughts. Sometimes if we just learn to write more things down, we can um, help take the stress out of many, many situations. Write out your thoughts to sort them out. Write out your thoughts to get things off your chest. The beauty of writing and journaling is that your journal is a judgment-free zone. It's a judgment-free zone. Just like when you come here. This is a judgment free zone. I believe that journaling is helpful for our growth, for our well being, and for our mental health. It can keep us from doing destructive things to ourselves or even to others helps us to sort out our feelings. And it helps us find solutions for our problems. You can journal and write your thoughts. You can write a poem. Or a song, or rap lyrics, anything that will help you get the words on paper where they can be used constructively so they're not negative words that come out to ourselves or to other people that cause destruction. I would always encourage you to take some time out every day. Just write. Write about your feelings. Write about your thoughts. Write about your day. And if you can't figure out what to write, write out what you're thankful for. What you're grateful for. Now don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now another thing, another activity we can do that will help us relax. And I don't currently do this, but I used to. And that is doing some planting. Look at my flower pot. This is handmade by a friend of mine. And she 
mix this they are so beautiful she has so many different ones and I'm sure you know why I picked this one because that blue lipstick Planting seeds, planting a garden, or even just planting flowers or a plant. It can help you relax. Just getting your hands in the dirt is grounding for us. When we do some kind of planting, we, we're almost certain that something is going to grow. And the growth is what we want. in the work to dig in the dirt plant the seeds water the seeds give it sunlight and watch something beautiful grow from it and that's the same thing that we do with our lives we do positive things say positive things be around positive people they plant great seeds and and for us and we do the same thing for other people and you water and nurture friendships and relationships by being your authentic self by loving yourself by loving others and what we hope to grow from it is beautiful relationships a beautiful life, a fulfilling life. So if you ever get a chance to plant something, plant something and watch it grow and become something beautiful, just like yourself. Now, one of my things that I want to do this year is really get into this. yoga this yoga mat do you do yoga I've tried it a few times but I never did stick with it so this year I would like to stick with it I do know some of the positions but I really want to dedicate myself to the relaxation of it and the principles of it because I believe that it takes you to a place mentally where we're not only relaxing but it just helps us to have a better outcome life so I recognize the strength and the benefits of yoga and this year I plan to dedicate some time to doing it to learning more about it and to putting it to good use to my body and to my mind Now, I, what I really like is Tai Chi. I've done that several times as well. And I've also done belly dancing. So, those are all very fun things. And awesome things to help move your body. 
because you know when we talk about wellness and health when we talk about um, relaxation and self care we want to talk about fun things to do with our bodies too and yoga is a fun thing tai chi is a fun thing karate if you do karate or taekwondo and even if you just want to dance just turn on your music and move your body they're all great things all help us to relax all good for our self-care routine do you do yoga? Last but not least, I told you I would tell you what I started today off with. So this morning, I had a 90-minute massage, full-body massage, and I feel so good. I feel nice and loose. I feel nice and calm. And my body just feels really good. So, one of the things I want to do with you today is kind of give you a head massage. So, close your eyes. And I have my fuzzy mic here. Close your eyes. Just relax. Rub your temples. I'm rubbing your head. Just lay back and relax. You have the right to just focus on yourself for a few minutes. You don't have to think about anybody else but yourself. You're allowed to make self-care your priority. You're allowed to love on yourself. Your body always needs replenishing. You deserve love. You deserve relaxation. You deserve self care. You deserve to love on yourself. You deserve to be pampered. Take the time out just for you. Just for you. Just relax. Think about a beautiful place. Think about what you love to do in life. Just relax. Just relax.
there you go. I hope you feel relaxed today. I hope you enjoyed about just a few of the activities, my suggestions that I have for self-care activities, for relaxation activities. And I hope it's helped you and encouraged you to take some time out for yourself. So with that said, thank you so much for being here. And again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. I thank you again for coming. Mwah.